High cholesterol and high blood pressure are the biggest causes of heart disease and if they're not properly treated can seriously increase your risk of a heart attack or stroke. These conditions are manageable but many of those who live with them often struggle to keep themselves healthy or they don't even know they have them in the first place. Joining us today to discuss keeping our hearts healthy are Dr Mike Napton, pharmacist Dr Mahendra Patel and Jill Wakeford who has has suffered with high cholesterol. Welcome to all three of you, thank you for being here. So, Dr Mike, let's start with you. How common is this really and how serious is it? So in terms of commonness, both high blood pressure and high cholesterol are uh, very common, um, commonly found in the adult population and particularly I would screen patients in my surgery over the age of 40 and find perhaps 10% of the population would have high blood pressure, so a significant problem. Uh, it's asymptomatic, so you don't know you've got it unless somebody right. takes your blood pressure or with a cuff or takes a blood test to do your cholesterol. Uh, but what we know from studies that have been undertaken over the last 10, 15, 20 years is that if you lower your blood pressure, get it down below 140 over 80, so get your cholesterol below 5, you will considerably reduce your risk of the UK's commonest killer, which is cardiovascular disease, that's heart attack and stroke. So the consequences of not dealing with this, I think, are significant. And um, so it's about um, prevention, really. And, and then it is serious if you, if you don't prevent it. If you don't prevent it, yeah, you run the risk of um, having a heart attack. 30% mm. of people in this country who have a heart attack, their first experience of heart disease will be a sudden cardiac death. And of course, stroke is associated with significant disability, particularly if you get weakness in the arm or leg where you lose your speech. So these are serious conditions mm. and largely preventable. And one of the ways of doing that is managing blood pressure and cholesterol. And Jill, of course, um, a little bit about your story. You know all too well how serious things can turn out. Tell us what happened to you. Uh, well, I did have a heart attack a couple of years ago. And it was because one of my arteries had been clogged up with cholesterol, or the, um, the, term, for the term for it. And uh, it was a bit of a shock because I had no symptoms mm -hmm. at all. It was just when I was walking to work one day, I had a pain across my chest and carried on regardless. So um, I now take my statins as prescribed, you know, totally. And it's the only thing really that I could change to my life. So as well as being fit and healthy, as I thought I was beforehand, I still am. But the statins are obviously going to reduce the effect of me perhaps having another cardiac event. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Dr. Mahendra, if we had Jill leads a, a healthy life, so what should people be doing? What would be the next step if someone was worried? If somebody was worried in terms of their condition and promoting active health, speak to the pharmacist. The pharmacist now is engaging on lots of activities in terms of looking after your health, healthy life, healthy diet, exercise promotion, giving advice for people who are smoking. Smoking is a big risk factor for causing heart disease. Take your medicines correctly and appropriately. Yeah. If you have any issues with your medicines, if you have any concerns with your medicines, the pharmacy is right on the doorstep of, of most people in, in the country, really. So easily accessible, and that supports the Take Your Medicines campaign, which is why we're here today. Yeah, can you tell us a bit about the campaign with the British Heart Foundation? Tommy Cooper, yeah. his face is involved, I'm hearing. Yes, Tommy Cooper, I, I mean, everybody is familiar with Tommy Cooper, superb comedian, um, but he died of heart attack on stage mm. while performing, really. And um, it just goes to show that the problem was that he didn't look after his health, really. And it's important to look after your health. Um, and on the, on the back of that, we're, we're promoting this campaign, really. Great. Well, thank you very much to all three of you. Um, my thanks to Dr. Mike, Dr. Mahendra and Jill for joining us. If you want to find out more about keeping your heart healthy, go to bhf.org.uk forward slash Tommy. Also, if you would like to speak to someone, you can call a qualified nurse on the British Heart Foundation helpline on 0300 333 333. Thanks very much. Goodbye.